Hi guys. Welcome back to RT Shed Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud. With me, your host, Linda Fry, the asthma lady. Yes, welcome everybody. Welcome to anyone new and exciting, exciting, exciting because we are still in Women's History Month and I have some amazing guest co-hosts. So, and I'm doing something a little different. I have four guest co-hosts with me here today. How many fingers did I put up? Uh, four. Four <laughs> guest co-hosts with me today. So before I let them do their thing, I'm going to, I always usually uh, read the accolades but for me to read everyone's accolades here today will be here for three months so because <laughs> they've done so much but today we're joined by an extraordinary team weezer okay so a group of dedicated respiratory therapists who embody warmth empathy and resilience in their work individually they bring diverse expertise and a shared passion for helping others breathe easier Please welcome our esteemed co-hosts as they share their insights and stories in our discussion on women supporting one another in the respiratory care field. Hi, ladies. <laughs> yes, girl power. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let everyone individually introduce themselves, their expertise, and how many years they've been doing this, and we're going to move forward with the show. So we can start with Flo. You want to go first? I can because I'm the newest to the bunch. <laughs> I'm the newest to the career. Uh, okay. My name is Flo Lockett Miles, and I am the newest RRT AEC in the bunch. Uh, I am an educator as well, and uh, I have the distinct pleasure of still working bedside and recruiting for respiratory therapists, not just to come into the school but to branch out and just show what the industry and the career can do nationwide. Yeah. And it has been my pleasure to have been doing so for just a few years, but yeah, I'm in it to win it. <laughs> yes, Flo. Glad to have you, Flo. Amen. Glad to be a part. And Flo is hilarious, by the way. But yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> Who else I got? Who want to go next? Robin? I see you. Cece. Ooh, Cece? Hey. Oh, Cece. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Cece Olmixon. I'm the program director for the Victoria College Restored Care Program. I've been a therapist for, um, we'll just say three plus decades and leave it at that. <laughs> I am a big proponent of um, shared networking and resources and stuff. Um, our profession is amazing. I have met amazing people along the way. Um, I, as an educator, I love helping um get that next generation out there and ready to yes. enter the profession. And um, I just love watching that passion ignite in people mm -hmm. who, you know, they say restory is the best hidden treasure. So yes. I love like really? being able to unveil it and then let them like grab hold of that torch and run with it. Yeah, CC, happy to have you here today. <laughs> Who's next? Who I have? Uh, Robin, I see you next. Ash. Sure. <laughs> Everybody, it's great to be on. Um, my name is Robin Garcia. I'm actually a manager for respiratory in Abilene, Texas, and I've been in the business since 1996. So I've had a, a pretty kind of different kind of journey than most because I went back to school later to get my degree. Uh -huh. went to Midwestern and graduated in 2019 and then went back to Texas State and I graduated there from 2021. And so I feel like I bring a different kind of perspective about getting your career in respiratory and I'm all about helping people like achieve the best they can. So leadership has been a different journey for me. I've been in leadership for about seven years, but um. I actually became a manager this past September, so. Nice, congratulations. <laughs> okay, glad to have you, Robin. <laughs> All right, Karen, well, that leaves you. Hi, I'm Karen Gregory. Thank you so much for um, 
inviting our team Weezer. We we're just we're <laughs> tough and we're strong and we're just so united and so grateful. Um, I'm a respiratory therapist and then I also work as an advanced practice provider and a certified asthma educator. I kind of blended my roles together and I love it. The foundation of my uh, career is respiratory therapy. I love the lungs. I um, teach at a nurse practitioner program too. And I tell my students, I live north of the belly button. So that's just, <laughs> that's, that's my home is the lungs. And um, I love so much getting to, to uh, I echo what Cece says, getting to watch this next generation pa or pass the torch. And, but it's hard to let go of that torch. I just, I think we <laughs> hold on to it and just let them grab down here. <laughs> but, but thank you so much for us. Yes, Karen, love to have you once again. So, um, you know, you're, I, I tell everybody, you're just, you're hilarious and smart and all that good stuff. Yeah. So I just love having you here um, with us today. So yes, Team Weezer. So, and oh, well, I guess I should say who I am for those who don't know me. I'm Linda. Uh, folks call me the asthma lady. So I'm the host of this show, the RT Share Tea Podcast. And um, I had the opportunity to work with these wonderful ladies um, not too long ago on an initiative around asthma, providing asthma education and asthma education workshop to other healthcare professionals in Texas. So we were known as Team Weezer. <laughs> so I was always excited to get them all back together again to do something and just sharing positive vibes. So, and I, uh, Cece was the, I call us the, the Avengers <laughs> of the lungs, I guess. <laughs> asthma and, Avengers. Of asthma. And, uh, Cece was the Nick Fury. She was the one who got us all together. She activated Team Weezer and we were able to push through that, that, um, that initiative, that workshop, uh, not too long ago. So, once again, ladies, thank you so much for being here with us during Women's History Month. Such an important month, I think, for, for us now. Uh, okay, so with that being said, us introducing ourselves and, and having all these different perspectives because we're in different areas and phases in our careers. Mm -hmm. So can anyone share um, any triumphs or, you know, challenges that they face within the careers um, where they needed, where the importance of support coming from other coworkers or other women that you work with chimed, like came in and, and played a role. Well, I can, I'll start because I've been at it a little bit um, longer. And so I've had lots of opportunities where, um, especially early on, just trying to navigate um at the bedside. And then when I decided to um, further my degree, this was before we had bachelor's programs in, in our discipline and stuff. Uh -huh. um, it was, it was interesting. I, I actually um, worked with someone who um, was, she was always a proponent of you, you got to get more education. You got to get more education. And I'm mm -hmm. like, why? Well, I do the same thing every day. You know, I mean, it's different patients, but and she's like, no, no, no. You just don't understand. There's, it's just so important. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. You know, our family grew up on education was really important. So it wasn't a really hard leap. Um, but at the time I couldn't see where it was really going to serve me well, but it really did. And with her pushing me and, the people I worked with, you know, I don't do anything by myself. You know, we're all on our own walks, but we all have our little circle of influence and our network of support mm -hmm. that takes us through every day. And like, there were days, mm, you know, cause I'm a, let's, if we're going to do it, let's just get it done and get it done as quick as possible. So, you know, you work full time and you go to classes full time and, you know, there's that edge of, oh, why am I doing this? Um, but you know, because I brought all of my people on board, it was like, okay, on the days when I'm struggling, y'all going to have to like, you know, mm -hmm. kick me a little bit, get me going, keep me going. And so I think it's just really crucial that we always have a network of influence and a, mm -hmm. a set of resources that can help us on our daily struggle. Cause some days are easier than others. Right. Um, but the reality is none of us walk this walk alone. And so it's really important to have 
um, people that know what you're trying to do and that support you in that. So I think it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, CC. <laughs> That's good. Anyone else? I love it when we started Team Weezers. Um, we we were just, I mean, I, I think we it was the first time and Linda, you were our great, CC, you got us together and Linda, you were a great leader. And but I loved how one of the simple things, something so simple, it took all this, we were going to play a game for after each discipline, mm -hmm. after each thing to empower, to, to make it more active. I couldn't think of a game. I couldn't do any, <laughs> I was thinking like, go to the library and all this. These women <laughs> helped me and did it. I mean, um, I, I know both, it, oh, I flow in and, and Robin, you guys Robin. got me on my track and, and taught me so much. And then even taught me how to, um, you know, navigate through, make it fun. So, so when I got up to it be, to be my turn, it looked like I was just, I, I did all this, but I could not have done it. It was family feud questions on <laughs> asthma with family. feud, And I, I just appreciated that so much because I wanted to be so good at it. And I, I couldn't have done it without, without you, without you four ladies. <laughs> oh, we um, had buzzards and we had family yeah. feud music and <laughs> I would have thought of buzzards. I would have thought, raise your hand. <laughs> right. And 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 Robin came with um cahoots. I didn't even know yeah. how cahoots were yeah. okay. that. Yeah. So that was a good one too for, for the workshop. Yeah. And I just loved how you we you all embraced me and we got through because I was weak at that and you picked me up and carried me through and it made it look like I was just right along with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did good. You did good. And, and, and I, for, with, with Karen saying that, um, it reminds me of something that I had with Flo. I'm, I'm new into the, the educate, the academia world. So I'm a part-time, um, a new part-time, um, adjunct and, you know, yeah. and I was doing the didactic teaching. I wanted to pull every hair off my body <laughs> slowly <laughs> with tweezers. <laughs> because I just could not I I and I just you know so Flo started to like you know just text me a little bit to kind of check in and I I really appreciated that and Flo has been giving me um just little nuggets and and, and it helped me a lot Flo and I um I don't think I ever told you that recently but but it, it really did help me because I, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing lab work now. So, which is a, a little different, but okay. those were challenging days. The first couple of weeks were challenging. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah those, was, those, were some long, those were some long text threads. It was okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. <laughs> all right, 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 right. So I appreciate I'll, that. I'll, uh, if, oh. if I can chime in, if I may, Does? for me... I already had like a master's degree and other degrees. And I went into respiratory really late, like after that. Mm -hmm. And I had a lady in class one day and she said, I don't know, I was just doing RT. I was like, I think I'm gonna do this. And she was in a different discipline, but healthcare. And she said, yeah, you are, you go get this license. And she goes, and it's going to change your life. She said it just like that. She goes, you've got that other stuff. Go do this. And ever since then, I meet women like y'all, right? Mm -hmm. I go to these conferences and I get hooked yes. up with these women who have these thoughts and it, you're not crabs in a barrel, right? You're like, yes. oh, let me get you where you want to go. Yeah. Let me help you get to where you want to. Let me show you this. And there's room, like there's room for all of us, whether we want to <laughs> participate in it or just learn from it or help somebody excel in it. Like there's room for us and i that is a comfortable space because it's not even just mentorship it's sponsorship mm -hmm. right so i'm not just showing you but if you want to participate you got to get here and let me show you how to get how to, to here mm -hmm. yeah i love that right and i have the choice to say i don't think i can do that yes i can do that no i don't want to do that mm -hmm. without hurting anybody Mm -hmm. Right. I can, I can text Robin right now and be like, you know, I don't know what this is. I need you. Girl. Right? <laughs> and there's no, and it was just, and that we, we've only known each other a year, right? Yeah. A year. And just it from, feel like it. it doesn't it don't feel, feel like it. Feel like I feel that. like I've known Robin for years. Mm -hmm. Flo, 
Cece, mm-hmm. the Nick Fury, Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like when Karen, when you got Dr. Millard, huh. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. You get Dr. Millard to this day. I saw him at Baylor and you should see my student's face. Like, oh, you know him? I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> we walk the red carpet every day, you know, <laughs> but it took, you know, it's that kind of interaction where again, it was not just mentorship and it's just that love of let, let's let's get this RT industry yeah. and the women in this industry. Let's give them let's give them that nudge, that lift, that muscle, that yes. that pressure, whatever, mm-hmm. to get you up there where you want to go without judgment. I mean, it's it's a yeah. very healthy space. Yeah, it's a very healthy space. Yes, 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 yes. So I I, I just feel like um, we definitely have been supporting each other just allowing each other to shine in the light that we're supposed to be shining. And it's not, it's not a, no one has to dim what they're doing. I I don't know how to say it, but it's just like, it's just, we just like hearing about each other. (laughs) Right, right, right. It's, it's, it's just like just being supportive and, and, and just allowing each other to be who we all are in our respective space. So I really Mm -hmm. do love that with working with you ladies and in any anything that we work on whether it's in the virtual space like now <laughs> or you know together face to face or anything like that so mm-hmm. two toes so we so we basically already starting to talk about this like career um advancements in respiratory things like we already mentioned networking and furthering education and mentorship so what i guess we could like we said we started we started talking about this already so what do you guys feel is a value to um progressing in in the in the field you know especially as women um if i can jump in here i think you need to keep learning it doesn't it doesn't even always take money or anything like that just keep learning even from each other Mm-hmm. Like reaching out to people, but I mean, if you can further your education, um, some of the biggest networking for me was when I actually did go back to college, but I mean, going to conventions, mm-hmm. just yeah. celebrating the profession, you know, you mm-hmm. meet so many great people, obviously I met all of y'all they are amazing <laughs> in my life. And so I think just getting out there and getting out of your comfort zone, I think networking happens naturally if you do those yeah. things. Right. That's a very good point. Yes, yes, yes. I um and and I and I've spoken about this before. Um networking was not really my thing in the beginning because I was such a uh, uh into like I like to help people, but I'm kind of, like I'm an introvert. So it's like yeah. I never really was like the office mingle person. I was the go to work. Like I work, <laughs> okay, this is what what I'm doing and then I go home. <laughs> work (laughs) um you know so I didn't really go to like the Christmas parties or any of that stuff so um but I had to learn the value of networking like Mm -hmm. especially when um you have to push um initiatives and when you have things that are missions that are bigger than you and because you cannot do that work alone and we said that and I, I I had to learn to do better at that and and this is how I got to where I am now I just and I and I'm grateful because I got to meet you guys so you know (laughs) going to the conferences and just meeting expanding the network and just nurturing these relationships right Mm -hmm. oh I love that nurturing yeah I like this saying there's it's a makeup that I buy but it's a woman-owned company um, throw, I know I'm not endorsing anything, but they, I got this bag from it. It says empowered women, empower women. Mm-hmm. And I think that is, that is where I would like to see us as respiratory therapists go, you know, I mean, guys can join us, but you know, but, for, <laughs> so, but not there's just, a fee <laughs> <laughs> for a fee. <laughs> <laughs> But I love that. I, I love that's that. what kind of wish I, I could see our team Weezers doing too is empowering others. And 
people empowering us and us empowering others. Yes, I yeah. love that empowerment. Um, so you guys said some key, some key things. So we said we mentioned networking, um, going, you know, putting in the time to continue learning. Mm -hmm. Um, we said sponsorship, putting your name out there. Mm -hmm. Like if a door opened for you, allowing someone, bringing someone else through the door, amazing um uh, mentorship, just showing. Um, giving the how and and helping other people. So we we said a few things and just being a support, maybe just being the ear. Mm -hmm. um, hey, listen, texting, you know, how you doing? And mm -hmm. how did this go? So yeah, we we said um, a few things. This this is great. And I have a question for you guys. And this is a real question okay. that was um, DM to me from somebody. Oh, no, I'm just trying to pull up the question. I don't have my glasses, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's taking me, uh, taking me a little time to see things. That I, I'm getting older, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> All right. So, okay. So this is from an actual uh, uh, respiratory therapist who is okay. new uh, to the field. So she has been in the field, is a, is a woman, and she's been in the field for one year. And so she reached out so for some, some advice. Okay, so she currently I work as a respiratory therapist. I'm very new into the field, but I want to have an impact in the respiratory care field. So I'm very touched that she reached out to me uh, for that. So I wanted to know if you can advise me on different areas where I can grow in the respiratory field. So due to the fact that I'm still trying to figure out and plan on furthering my education. So right now, what I do know is she does have her, she's a CRT, it's a CRT. Okay. So that's that's what I know. So, so far she's worked for one year. She's a CRT and her main um, area is in acute care. So she's done uh, ICU, ICU. Okay. Um, and I believe adult care is her main. So what do you guys, so what, what do we, what do we think? I'm, I'm going to, I know Robin's thinking this cause I can, you know, Robin here, <laughs> chime in girl. Okay. Here we go. That CRT. We need that RRT. Mm -hmm. All right. We need that RRT. Let's, let's just cut to the chase. Okay. <laughs> let's do that. Cause she's got experience and she's new to the game. She's got time to grow. So yeah. I don't want her to feel like I have to do this tomorrow. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But she needs tomorrow <laughs> that mm -hmm. RRT. So if I had to say anything to her as an educator to a student or a new grad, my push would be get that RRT. Absolutely. That that would be yeah. my first. I, I wouldn't even mentor. After that, the doors are going to open. Yes. yes. But that's that's <laughs> the cycle. And come on uh, by. Flo was good. like on my wavelength. That's, I mean, the RRT <laughs> oh, opens up, it, it just opens up so many doors to not just does. different tests you can take later, but even taking the test, it, it opens doors where, you know, there's different things out there like PFTs and, you All know, right. you learn about, you AEC. start learning about asthma more, yeah. AEC. AEC. Uh -huh. The ACCS, you know, and then yes. it'll open doors that maybe she could mentor or go check out if her area has a pulmonary rehab or something where mm. she can open and expand. But yeah, you have to, you really, really need to go after yeah. the RRT. Or yeah. RT case management or recruitment. Like, yeah. you know, you need that credential for people to take you just a little bit. You know, I mean, we're uh. women, we know better. We need that extra credential. Mm -hmm. But if she's going to pull people into the fold, they need to know that she got that skill right. that she exactly. has. Right. has a little bit of a title behind it and they can trust her with that. Right. And then she can go where she needs to go. But that RRT is going to be the, that's it. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I agree. She needs to commit to herself that she wants to get that entry level uh, certification or I'm sorry, credential, because that's a really critical piece. Cause like everybody said, the diversity and the breadth of avenues that you have once you have that registry credential is just amazing there's mm -hmm. there's no other way to say it so if you really want to have this rich amazing 
uh, career in this profession with all of these opportunities, that registry credential is where it starts. Right. So she needs that's to commit to person. herself. She, do it. she needs to commit to herself to get that, well, however she needs to do it. And if she is um, fearful of it, then she just needs to hook up with any kind of educators or anybody that can help mm. support her in that element. And there's tons of resources out there, but she needs to commit yes. to herself to get that registry because then, like these ladies said, all the doors open. There's mm -hmm. just a massive amounts of opportunities as registry therapists. Um, and there's so many review courses. I know I had to, to attend a review, a weekend review course, or I wouldn't. But there's so, you know, I agree. There's so much. And AARC mm -hmm. helps too. Resources. Mm -hmm. Yes. All yeah. the AARC stuff. Yeah. I appreciate you ladies. I have to, we're going to wrap it up, but I love this. I love this energy and I couldn't have done this any better. <laughs> I think <laughs> on my it's own, I really appreciate the, just the, 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 the women power energy. I really needed this. Um, especially this week, I'm, I'm exhausted actually <laughs> from everything I've been doing, but doing things like this definitely gives me the energy to continue. And, um, yeah, I, I, I appreciate you guys sharing your perspectives and just showing in real time how mm -hmm. to support mm -hmm. one another <laughs> that, yep. I mean, I don't think people sometimes they have a hard time seeing these things and they don't think it, it exists, but it does. And, it and, you know, that's what I wanted to do during women's history month. So that was the objective for this. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much uh, for being thank you, Linda. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, know that we are RT share T podcast is on most podcast platforms on Wednesdays and we are on YouTube on thursdays thank you so much guys for listening so much more to come and remember guys to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you i will see you next week bye thank you ladies <laughs>